so we're here at the war table and uh we've got a while before any of this stuff gets done an hour essentially an hour minimum um and we've done everything we can that i'm aware of for our companions and we've pretty much done everything in all of the zones out excuse me outside of some maps and since that's terribly boring to watch people do I am going to go ahead and start the next main mission right here, which is Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts. Uh, an assassin is stalking the Empress. Selene's death would plunge Orlay into chaos, leaving it an easy target for Corypheus. At the Winter Palace of Halam Shirah, Selene is holding peace talks with her rebellious cousin Grand Duke Gaspard under the cause of a Grand Ball. Every noble in the Empire will attend, making it the perfect place and time for Corypheus' assassin to strike. We can arrange an invitation to attend to keep him from destroying Orlais if we hurry. Orlais, if we hurry. Let's get going with we this. We have to reach the Empress before Corypheus. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. I see. Uh, tell me of Gaspard. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been emperor. He's Céline's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Céline outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their numbers sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Gaspard has a Chevalier. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the Crown. But that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. True. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Interesting. Tell me of Briala. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sharal into an underground army. Holy fuck. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough, without the rumor that Briella is a jilted lover of Selene's. Oh. A personal grudge and a network of saboteurs at her command. Promising lead. Selene had an elven lover? Wait. The elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress? It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out, the Empress and an elf. Hmm. The scandal could destroy Selene's court, even if a lie. Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. Liliana, why? Why is Liliana talking so fucking sexy right now? What the hell is this? This is unacceptable. Tell me about Selene. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Selene is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Heralds. Selene is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? Gaspard is Selene's heir? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. Why not just send a warning? Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. Shenanigans. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orlay falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. Let's roll. We shouldn't waste any time. Let's go to the Winter Palace. Inquisition roll up like a bunch of badasses. Wicked eyes, an assassin is... Oh yeah, we've already looked at that. If I don't get out of like a Corvette or an old 19... Oh. Hey, Varric's looking different now. 
good. He doesn't have that horrible, horrible picture, which was... Which means there's multiple pictures. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, Cole. Okay. Uh... You know what? Vivian... Okay. Son of a bitch. Gotta take Varric. I'm not taking Sarah to a ball of nobles. No way in fucking hell. Taking Dorian would be weird because he's to vent her. That'd be scandalous as fuck. Maybe... Solus... Oh, shit. I don't know who to bring. Um, you know what? I, I kind of want to bring Cole. Fuck it. We're going to take Cole. And... You know, Vivienne... Uh, is the whatever of the whatever, so I feel... Although, Cassandra... Hold on, I'm trying to think in my head. Because Cassandra doesn't really have much going on in terms of the ball. I don't know how beneficial she, beneficial? Beneficial she would be to take. Doesn't make any sense to bring these two. Uh, I, uh, you know what? I'm going to take Vivian. Yeah. Varric, because he's good with words. Cole, so we can learn some shit about humans. Vivian, although if we're dealing with elves, we're... No regrets! No regrets. I already regret not taking Cassandra. No regrets. Doing more with Cole, learning more about his what-the-fuck-ever, really, it makes it hard to hate him. It's more like, I just don't want to, you know, talk with... Uh, whatever. Whatever. Vivian makes a lot of sense to bring. She's hell. She's apparently like, what was it? I can't remember. Friends or something with Celine. So this just makes sense. Bring her along diplomatically. Cassandra already admitted she's bad with acquired formal attire. The political situation attire. in Halamshiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests. So our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies, or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. That's right, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I wanted to have the fucking... It is a great pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor Labelle. The rumors coming out of the Western approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. Oh, uh, which Emperor is that? Which one was the rightful one again? I keep getting them confused. If we keep watch, he may appear. Probably by the brand new. <laughs> I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me. Prepared to shock the assembly by appearing as the guest of a hateful usurper, my lord. They will be telling stories of this into the next age. Aren't we exciting? I'm not here for a party. I'm glad to help. It's a pleasure to meet you, Duke Gaspard. I look forward to ending this civil war. As do I, my friend. The Empire needs stability and security now more than ever. If you have the safety of the Orlesian people at heart, Inquisitor, perhaps you will look into something for me. This elven woman, Briala, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. Is it? I hope there's not. There's more to go on, yeah. Tell me there's more to your suspicion than the elves were acting dodgy. That ambassador, Briala, used to be a servant of Selene's. That is, until my cousin had her arrested for crimes against the Empire to cover up a political mistake. If anyone in this room wishes Selene harm, Inquisitor, it's that elf. She certainly has reason. <sighs> be as discreet as possible. I detest the game. But if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? 
So we're playing the game right now. That's what we're doing. Why'd my outfit Is get a blue stripe? An elf savage. Oh, make a All right, who fuck said that? Or Legion of looks down on elves. The court watches you with a critical eye. What motherfucker said that, Elf Savage? Was it you, you bitch? I'll kick you in your weird looking dick, you motherfucker. Who said it? I don't give a shit. Also, my outfit looks like goddamn garbage. Can I can I put the I can't put that one on? Ugh, I want my black. I don't want that blue stripe. What the fuck ever? What do? Enter the Winter Palace. Expl explore the palace gardens. What the no what is Might be there? something here. Better take a closer look. Interesting. Pick up ring. Return the ring to the noblewoman or keep it to sell later. Speak with the noblewoman. Oh, well, I don't need money. Are you the noblewoman? I need to talk to. Hey. Mika, what am I going to do if I cannot find my ring? Here. You just gain court approval, which is usually the result of finesse, entertaining people, or keeping up appearances. The higher court approval is, the is better. Is this the ring you were looking for? Interesting. You are a treasure! I cannot believe you found it! You have saved me a lifetime of mortification. How can I thank you enough? Oh, I can think of ways. Where could it be? I already gave you your ring. I don't need money. Motherfuckers with this elven racism. I will I will have sex with your daughters and make interspecies babies. Don't fuck with me. I can hardly believe Gaston is here. What the Grand Duchess Florian must have worked in miracles in the field. Grand Duke Gaspard. I guess we're going up here then, huh? Oh, fucking no. I am not talking to you until we get home. I'm not talking to you until we get him. I am mad at you. Uh, you didn't put it. Eh. Okay, yeah, there's a fuck ton of people up here. What's going on over here? The stat. Unlock the eastern storage. Statuettes required access to the eastern storage. Statuettes? What? What the? Require more hollow statue? What the fuck is a hollow statue? Well, this is gonna get confusing fast. We're taking a look around before we it's do been shit. Too long since I've had any work. You. Uh, huh? Can I open this? Require storage key. Anything up? Get out of my way. Approach the talking nobles. I will. I'll repro uh, reproach. I'll approach from over here. Excuse me, sir. You're in my way. Are these dumb? I can't fucking tell. Hello? Foreigners. Find a safe spot to eavesdrop on the nobles' conversation. Uh. Isn't this some Assassin's Creed bullshit? Haha, <laughs> found it. Any word from the front lines? My spies said the bodies were beyond counting. Surely the Empress will put an end to the war tonight. Pray, my friend. If the Maker does not hear us now, just pray. What? Excuse me. Whoa. Pick up storage key. I wasn't even that was an accident, but I'll take it. it. Says something about bodies. Okay, let's go check the right side before I head up into that storage. Statutes of access to the eastern storage. I get it. Hollis statuette. Is 
there anybody else over here? Lady Nightingale? Talking about Liliana? Take all of this stuff. Okay. Uh, as always, we're going to go down the left side first. Okay. Over here. We do. Also, I want to do this. Save the motherfucking game as we play the game, yo. See, I can do this too. I can do this too. Hope nobody sees me. What is this? Take scandalous lead? Deliver scandalous secret to Liliana? Oh, this is fun. Whoa, wait a minute. Pick up Caprice coin. Those are those coins that you flip into the water. I know that from that Dragon Age DLC. How to flip it into the water though. Is it down here? Probably is. Maker! Do we flip the coin in here? No? Well shit. Excuse me ass nuggets. Alright, now we go down this side. Who the f fuck is making all that noise outside my goddamn bedroom door? Like, what the hell? It's probably fucking the ferret out there, waking up, wanting to party, hang out with all the cool people. By cool people, I clearly mean my cat, because lord knows I'm not. Alright. I'm lying. I actually have super high opinion of myself. I'm just trying to be horribly, horribly modest. And it usually doesn't work. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Don't mind me, anybody. Keen Deepstalker Vitar. Practically, what the fuck? There's nothing in here. What is that feeling like something is... What the fuck? There's nothing in here. Why would I want to come in here? Watch me have needed that, that hollow thing for something else. Who and where is everybody in this place? Okay, so... I didn't check out that side down there? What the hell? Is Liliana here? I'm not talking to you until we get home. Is that the Inquisitor? It is. Bitch. Keep talking like that. Watch what happens. You'll find a penis in your coffee. I swear to God, you'll pick up that mug, take a drink, and it'll poke you right in the nasal. Nasal? Nose. Where the fuck is she? Am I just dumb? Well, I don't see Liliana anywhere, so I am assuming. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. They sound like a fun bunch. Don't they sound delightful? I'm shocked we haven't invited the court to dinner at Skyhold. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. That's a cheery thought. You're just full of joy and light this evening. Everything will be fine. And rest a watch over us all. She's pretty much like, look, don't talk at all. You're an idiot. Oh well. <laughs> look at all them goats. 
The chilled enemies have their movement in their attacks, though. Dearth of Men, Keeper of Secrets. August Ram. Looks more like a... Doesn't look like a ram. It looks more like a... Some kind of an elk. That black cherry sparkling water shit is delicious. <sighs> Sorry, I'm thirsty. I'm a thirsty man. Oh lord, there's things everywhere. Let's go down this path. Nothing here. Vestibule. Let's go down this path. Nothing here. Nothing anywhere, apparently. Uh, I, I don't know where Liliana is, which annoys a shit out of me. I wish there was more news oh. coming from the convoy. Good news is becoming an increasingly rare commodity. Cullen. Varric. Shit. I just saw two dwarves from the Merchant's Guild go inside. If anyone asks, I'm not here. Ha <laughs> ha! Cullen. We'll take some time to get our men into the palace. I'll alert you when we're ready. I appreciate that they're also wearing the, the, the grand armor I made. Alright, fuck it. Let's talk to you. Where's yes, Liliana? They would be wearing the same armor I'm in. Hmm. Fuck me, I don't... What is Gaspar? What fuck. Why are there so many I had hoped to tour the royal The room. Empress invited them. I have heard they are the finest in the Empire. It's such a pity the wing is sealed. I heard Celine was having the entire wing redecorated. But the timing is atrocious. Why would she do such a thing now? Interesting. To cover up a murder, if I recall. Alright. Guess we're gonna go up here. Whoa, are you... Oh, I'm stupid. I thought that was a person. But he looks rad. What? What are we looking at here? Requires a royal wing key. Alright. This is some Katori right here. Hello? Who does Orzammar favor in the negotiations tonight? King Edukun has put considerable coin behind the Empress in hopes the trading foodstuffs will resume quickly. Interesting. So you guys support Selene. The Grand Library of Halam Sharal. Locked from the other fucking side. Okay. And there's no Liliana that... Who am I eavesdropping on? Well, that's useful. Deliver scandalous secrets. I don't even see Liliana to be able to deliver. Can I go in here, guard? The no. guest wing is not open to the public at this time, visitor. If nothing else, Sorry. The Inquisition back in Gaspar makes it Okay. Can Could Gaspar I... take the throne without the back Check back down here. I don't think this delivers scandalous secrets. What the heck? I think it's shoving me in that direction, but I just want to double check. Oh fuck. Seriously, did you get a look at the steps? I think they're gilded. It's obviously just a I don't see what the problem is. It will take some time to get our men into the palace. I'll let you when we're ready. Wait, what the hell are we doing? Oh, 
Right, we're sneaking soldiers and shit in to worry about an assassin. You. How could the Empress afford to renovate the palace without war going on? I heard that it wasn't renovations at all. The palace was damaged by Gaspar's catapults. He fired on the Winter Palace? That's monstrous. Nothing else? Interesting. So that was specifically for anything here? No. How has delirium tree dropped off so sharp? With so much fighting, demand should be higher than ever. My contact said there's a new supplier, but we can't track down who it might be. Interesting. You? No? You? For? Nothing? Oh! I had no idea. Scandalous secrets. Jesus Christ. 30. 30 of these fucking things. That's not happening. 30? Fuck that. 